Hello everybody, I'm Roy Ryan. In this video, I'm gonna be talking to you about how to deal with hate as an artist. Let's get into it. I can never fake who I am. I can never fake who I am. Yeah, this is just part of the play. So the number one thing when dealing with hate as an artist is you need to remember that your music is not for everybody. Some people are going to say that your music is amazing and some people are not gonna like it. They're gonna say it's bad. And uh, that's just the way it goes, being a creative, being a music producer, being an artist, being a rapper. You're gonna have to deal with a lot of people who like your music and a lot of people who don't. It's just the way it is. If people were saying your music is garbage or trash, you need to just ignore them, okay? Because uh, you need to ignore them or you need to block them because there are people who uh, are just looking to hate on people. There are often people who are unhappy in their lives. Another reason could be that they're jealous that you're doing what you want to be doing. I mean, if you're being an artist, you're being a rapper, and you're uh, chasing a dream, a lot of people don't get that. So uh, you're bound to get some sort of hate and some sort of jealousy, and people are going to, there's gonna be people who say trash and garbage and all that because they just don't get it. It's not what, it's not their vision, it's yours. But uh, people like that who can't give con constructive criticism or uh, real feedback, real genuine feedback, their opinions don't really matter. They're just, I mean, at the end of the day, you just gotta know that their opinion don't matter. They're just hating just to hate. And uh, I mean, they're just hating because that's what they like to do. So at the end of the day, you need to ignore them or you just need to block them. Move on with your life. Don't even give them any of your time or energy because they don't really deserve it. So number three is you need to believe in yourself. You need to believe in yourself and you need to fall back on your why. And uh, I mean, if you believe in yourself and you believe in what you're doing and what you're building, and that's all that matters. You're not gonna be looking for any sort of outside validation from anybody. Other people's opinions aren't really gonna matter because you're doing what you wanna do, you're doing what you love, and uh, that's that's all that matters. Like what I mean by falling back on your why, falling back on your why basically means um, why do you make music? Why do you do what you do? Are you uh, making music for a real purpose, a real reason, and uh, for a certain amount of people, a certain target audience, you know, people who actually deal with issues and different things like that. And once you nail your why, then you can fall back on this. I mean, when you're going through a difficult time with hate, or you can fall back on it when, you know, you just, you just wanna fall back on it. You're kind of feeling not motivated. If you fall back on your why a lot, that can help you stay disciplined. And so you'll always be disciplined to work and you know put in that work. And uh, you're not gonna be looking for motivation. But uh, you, I mean, you fall back on that why and uh, believe in yourself and then other, all that hate ain't gonna matter. So that's the third reason. At the end of the day, being an artist, rapper, producer, any other sort of creative, you're bound to get some sort of hate. It's just a matter of like, what kind of hate? Like, is it like really intentional? Like, you know, just people being uh, mean and aggressive and uh, just hating just to hate, you know, saying garbage, trash, all that. Um, I mean, that comes, that comes and goes. It's all bound to happen, but it's just a matter of some hate isn't bad. Some can actually help propel your career to the next level. So I think you got to kind of just take the, take the hate. You got to take the highs and the lows. And, uh, you know, I mean, some, some hate, you just got to kind of deal with it. Some, some isn't going to be bad at all. And a lot of people could just be joking around with you. I mean, I see like if you just comment back and uh, say something funny, then they could, you know, joke back with you. And, you know, maybe they're not even really hating on your music or anything like that. They're just kind of joking around or uh, they think you're a certain type of person because you make music. And so maybe they think that, you know, I mean, people have their own sort of things in their head that they I don't I don't understand. I don't hate on people, but um, I don't know. So uh, it's at the end of the day, don't try to understand them. Don't try to argue with them. And uh, don't try to, you know, don't try to defend yourself because you don't need to defend yourself. As long as you fuck with what you're doing and uh, you love your music and you love what you're building, that's all that matters. Um, just remember, you're going to get the good. You're going to get the bad. There's always highs and lows, being a creative, being an artist, being a rapper. And you just got to take them, take them all. You got to deal with it all. If you're in this business, you got to deal with the hate. And uh, not all hate's bad. But if it does get bad, block it out, ignore it. Think of these three steps, these three ways you can deal with hate as an artist. And, uh, you know, at the end of the day, just remember, you're not for everybody. And that's okay. So keep being you, keep grinding, keep doing what you're doing. And uh, just remember, all the people who hate on you right now, eventually, they're going to be looking up to you. And they're going to be wanting to hang out with you. And they're going to be saying a bunch of good things about you someday when you make it as an artist. So just remember that. 
keep building what you're doing, keep grinding, and uh, stay positive out there and stay healthy. Thank you for watching this video. If this is your first time watching me, then uh, I'm also an artist. If you like this video, please comment down below and let me know your thoughts or any other sort of video you would like me to make. And uh, I'll see y'all in the next video.